Hello everyone and welcome to the bar challenge. It's the uh, October the 20th and it's challenge day. Uh, we've got charged non-hero survivors uh, this week to help us. So if you've got a non-hero assault who's any good, uh, they're going to be really useful for you. And possibly a uh, non-hero bruiser will help you on some maps too. So this is a story challenge set where you start by going for a day out to the pub. Um, have to get into the pub through the gate, find your uh, tipple in private stash. Um, once you've got those, you find there's a tank in the pool room. And then you've got to rush home and get through the car park in choke point. So for day out, uh, you've got two turns on a gate and then another two turns on the uh, door to get into the bar. Uh, this is where your charged assault and charged bruiser will come in handy. Because uh, if you can stun these first walkers that start near you, get on the gate and uh, so stun these with your bruiser, get on the gate and stun the stuff to the right with your assault, you should be able to get charged up pretty easily. Um, through Sasha's leading trait and uh, if you've got perseverance on your bruiser even better and uh, keep everything stunned for the two turns and then it's pretty straightforward after that obviously the uh, starting walkers don't always start as nice as this and they can be a bit more spread out so possibly having two non-hero assaults if you've got them might be more beneficial um, or you can always take the uh, Sasha Assault Yumiko. Um, and if you can get charged back up quick enough and double stun stuff, you should be alright. Um, gets tricky at high level, but uh, probably one of my favourite maps on the set. Uh, the other f there is an auto spawn to the far right, so even though... You can keep the threat down. Walkers will still keep coming at you. So it is better to uh, stun and run on this one. Next one is called Lock-In. And so you've got into the bar, but there's a gate um, keeping you out. So you've got to open that for two turns. Um, as you're opening that, walkers will come in through the doors uh, behind you. So in this one, I was using B to stun the walker that came in whilst trying to get Princess charged up. If you've got a non-hero assault who's already charged, it might be more useful, because once you've opened the door after two turns, you've then got to get to the exit on the dance floor. Um, and being able to stun those is really useful. Um, run in, stun, and then run to the line. Incoming does come in at the bottom underneath this dance floor, so... Sometimes it can be better to save your uh, charge attack until that's come in. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not too bad a one. And with Spy, I imagine it's going to be even easier uh, to get recharged for that incoming. And it's done, and then run again. Okay, um, not much more to say on that one. Oh, well, one thing I will say on this one, if you can get as many of their attention as possible, it will help, because whilst you're behind the locked gate, they will all wander off up and right. So they'll go up, and then they'll go right. So uh, it might be worth uh, getting Shiva activated pretty early on this one, and hopefully they'll all be bunched up by the time the gate's opened. The next one's called Private Stash, so you've got to search for your, uh, for your alcohol in the three out of the four crates. Um, Pizza Glen with two charged stunners is makes this one a walk in the park. Run to the right and open one with Glen and run back. Then stun these ones to the right with someone and uh, open up the other two crates or the uh, crate at the bottom with uh, your third survivor. And then run to the right and open the third box with Glenn and get everyone on the line. Um, 
it's really quite straightforward. Uh, and if you can double stun them, it's even easier. Um, but so shouldn't be any problems with that one until well, even at nightmare it wasn't too bad. Uh, next one's called Pool Shark. Uh, you start with a load of walkers. It's technically killed a tough walker, but there's no incoming and there's no spawn, so you can treat it like a killer walkers. One way, good way of doing it is to um, stun everything on this side. And then on the right hand side you've got the tank in the, with the pool tables. There's quite a few hard corners on these pool tables, so you can actually get the tank to chase one of your survivors around whilst it's on fire and it'll just burn out eventually. So uh, I imagine Spy is going to be perfect for this, or uh, uh, Smy with Mercer instead of Princess, or a uh, already charged assault will work quite well as well. Um, I'll show you about running around and getting that tank to chase you. It makes this one quite easy uh, in the long run. So um, yeah, look out for that video. Um, next one is called Rush Home, which at early levels is pretty straightforward. Keep the threat down and you can just pick them off one at a time and uh, get to the exit on the far left. Um, when it starts getting harder, if you've got um, a couple of tools, a flare and a blast, you can use that with three scouts to reach the exit in two turns. Um, but then on the last round, when it's one turn incoming, it becomes the hardest map on the set uh, because the incoming uh, all come in on the line and uh, down um, below where the gate was on the previous map, uh, at the bottom of this map here. Um, so when you've got tanks and spikes spawning on one turn, level 50 walkers 54 walkers everywhere um you can't just run to a line you've got to work your way through uh took ages um but hopefully i'll get to it and be able to show you um how to do it using spy i imagine or smy and then the last one once you've got your goodies you've got to make your way back out through the car park uh, on a map called choke point Starts like this, sometimes you'll have a walker start really close to you. Loads of walkers behind this dark corner. Um, these, these are, whatever they are, what are they? Don't even know what they're meant to be. Big bags of sand? Um, there's loads of walkers over there. Just stay in this part, set them on fire. If you've got Shane, they'll bunch up eventually and you can explode them. There are a couple of exploders in there, and if you can get them to come forward as well, even better. Um, Shiva will be good, but you might want to get up into the top left so you can see more of the walkers to get their attention. Um, and I believe this is also a hard corner, and I found a way of um, blocking a lot of the walkers back in this top right corner, which was really useful. I'm going to have a look at my old video for that and see if I can uh, replicate it for you guys because it kept everything pinned back, um, as well as being uh, really compact, ready to be exploded by Shane. Um, so that's that map. I quite like it. Um, I think it's fun with its story-based, and um, it's got some nice maps on it with various different teams that should, uh, could be useful. Um, obviously, um, let me know in the comments if, uh, you disagree or if you like it as well and uh, I'll see you uh, later thanks for watching